Well, welcome to the uh, Piazza Mattuno in, uh, in the beautiful city of Bologna today. We are standing outside of the public library, La Sala Borsa, a place that has a few secrets of its own. Um, and, uh, but one of the secrets that's in this piazza is this beautiful statue, this statue of Neptune. And the secret is just a little bit naughty. So uh, let's talk about Neptune, the, the Greek god. Well, Bologna is a, a very, very, very old town. It was originally occupied by the mysterious Etruscans and later by the Romans. It's been invaded, sacked, and controlled by many, many different forces. In the late Middle Ages, Bologna was an independent comune. But in 1506, the city was invaded by the papal army and the city fell to Pope Pius IV, this guy. Uh, the Pope wanted to let the people of Bologna know there was a new sheriff in town and ordered that a public fountain be built to glorify his leadership. Of course, the Catholic Pope ordered a statue of a Greek god to be built. Go figure. So, several buildings were torn down, and in about 1564, give or take, construction of the fountain was begun. A spring-fed underground reservoir was built uh, up in the hills. It was... Uh, up that way, <laughs> kind of in the uh, up that road that way, and an underground aqueduct was built to channel the water to the new fountain. The statue was inspired by Greek statues of the god Neptune. The body of Neptune was sculpted to show a strong and muscular god, to indicate the uh, strength of the Pope, but with a slightly older face to show the wisdom of the Pope. The statue is a thing of beauty. It's a statue. Uh, that's much beloved by many people in Bologna. It's a square statue with slightly different views from each side, uh, including the naughty one. And hang on, I am getting to the naughty part in just a second. Uh, there are angels, dolphins, four beautiful sea nymphs that, that are squeezing uh, water from their nipples, four coats of arms, and, and four inscriptions. You may uh, recognize the trident carried by the by the god Neptune, and this statue it became the the logo, the symbol of a very famous car manufacturer, Maserati, which was started by the Maserati brothers right in Bologna, and now exists uh, just outside the city in an area known as Motor Valley. So when the statue was being sculpted, the church became concerned. They were worried that the statue was just a little bit too sexy. Uh, they thought that Neptune was too muscular and too, um, well, to be blunt, they thought his penis was a little bit too big. So the sculptor was ordered to make the penis smaller. And he did, but here's the naughty part you've been waiting for. As a little bit of a uh, in-your-face to the stodgy old priests who were running the cities at the time, the sculptor played a bit of a visual trick. He created an optical illusion, or what in those days might be called an artificium. Uh, look at the outstretched hand of Neptune. Notice the thumb is a bit out of proportion. Well, on this piazza outside of the Sala Borsa, the library, uh, there is a stone uh, patio. But on this patio, on this, uh, in this pavement, there is one stone that is a dark stone, and a darker than all the rest. Why would that be, you might ask? Well, there's a reason. When you stand on this stone and look toward the, the statue of the Greek god, you'll see that uh, it appears, thanks to the position of the, uh, of the hand and the thumb, it appears that Neptune is sporting a, an erection. So basically a little bit of a uh, in-your-face to the, uh, the Catholic Church and the priest who, uh, who wanted the uh, statue to be a little less sexy. Well, the statue is much beloved by the people of Bologna, and uh, when there's an important soccer match, a calcio match in town, the statue gets put in jail, you know, gets this fence put around it to prevent damage from uh, exuberant fans. The statue is open day and night. The piazza is open all night long. There's no, uh, no um, charge to get into it. It's a great place to go and... Uh, and people watch, and uh, it's a great place to see some beautiful art. So, uh, from uh, the beautiful city of Bologna, 
Uh, this is your buddy Dave from the Department of Wacky Ideas. I hope your day is wonderful. I hope you're kind. I hope you're an ethical traveler when you do travel. And I hope that uh, you have a chance to come and see this beautiful city and the statue of Neptune.